Gendesia is a genus of semi-aquatic carnivorous plants, with a particular feature that characterizes it. During the evolution process it completely lost its roots, and the visible apogeal organs are in fact modified leaves forming traps. This plant generates two different types of leaves, a feature known under the name of heterophyly. Photosynthetic leaves on the surface of the ground and a modified leaf called rhizophyll, which plays both typical functions of roots, such as anchoring the plant to the soil, but also capturing small soil organisms. The rhizophyll is a tubular, subterranean, uh, usually without chlorophyll leaf, with positively geotrophic growth. The rhizophyll is divided in several regions, a stalk that connects a leaf to the stem, and a hollow bulge called vesicle or digestive chamber. The vesicle continues with a tubular neck that splits into two helically twisted arms. Perhaps this carnivorous plant captures the widest range of prey, more than any other one, going from unicellular organisms like protozoa and algae to invertebrates such as mites crustaceous and hanelids. Preys enter the trap through a series of small openings arranged in a helical direction along the trap arms. and Hanelit has decided to sacrifice itself to give us a practical demonstration, showing us for the first time on video the capture of a prey by Gendesia. Once inside, they can no longer escape and get trapped in a series of funnel-shaped trichromes arranged in rings, moving unidirectionally towards the vesicle in which they will be digested by the plant. The basic trapping principle of this carnivorous plant, hypothesized for the first time by Charles Darwin, reminds of a lobster or eel trap. We can have a better understanding of the internal cavity of the trap and the movement of the organs captured in it by cutting the trap at the top before the organism arrives to the vesicle. By doing this and waiting for some time, it is possible to observe its escape from the trap rewarding it for his courage.